Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this picture and asked how this was done with the multiple colors, or if there's a, an, an easier way, but I don't know if they've even tried yet. So let's, let's put this over here. This was done, you know, if you look at it, you can see an oval. So I'm just gonna make an oval. And there's, I figured out it's 30 degrees. So I'm not holding down the control button. And I'm gonna hit P, put it at the center of the page. Then I'm, because it's a centerable item, I'm gonna control D, I don't have to do anything with the center. I'm gonna rotate it 30 degrees. And I'm gonna grab that shape with the Smart Fill tool. And I'm actually gonna nudge it up. Delete those. and nudge it down. I'm gonna bring in indexing lines that are in the center of the page. But before I do that, I'm gonna use the interactive fill tool. And I'm gonna go from here outwardly and I'm gonna put, you know what, I'm gonna put yellow in the center. That'll look pretty good. Now I'm gonna control D and make a duplicate. I double clicked on it and moved the center rotation to the center. It doesn't look like it is, but it is. Now rotated that same 30 degree. Now we all have the same color, okay? But before you interact the fill tool it, you're gonna to need to make a duplicate of it and you need to left click, right click in white. I'm gonna put a box around it make it red so it'll show up, order back a page. So there's our white. Let's actually go ahead and do this now. Let's make it something that a hairline, let's say eight point, and you could play around with that. Uh, there's a lot you could do with that. Anyway, now let's move this out of the way a little bit. There's, this is where the interactive field tool comes in. We've already got that one, interactive field, but we can change it. Let's change that to a blue. Click on the next one, change it to a light blue. See, the, the yellows kind of go together. Let's go to a green. Boy, that kind of blends all together. Let's go to a red. That looks pretty good. I'll maybe go back and change some of these. Let's do a darker purple. So all you have to do is click on it because all of them are basically copies of the interactive fill tool. I'm gonna to go back to that blue. So I'm just clicking on them. I'm gonna go back to the red, uh, clicking on them. Let's do a light green. Yeah, that doesn't work because it goes too far into the yellow. Let's, uh, let's do a yellow one and see because we have now we have two yellows, that isn't gonna work. And you could play around with mixtures of colors. Let's just make it simple. Let's just use the primary colors. Um, that green worked pretty well. See the green and the yellow just kind of blend together. So this is where you could, you know, if we would have started off with three colors instead of just two. That kind of looks okay. And we could have one of them, uh, just pure, we don't want two of them close together. And now it's original, so we don't have to do anything. Now, here's where you put that line around there, control G to group this. This isn't grouped together, so let's group this together, control G, and go ahead and go object order back a page. And then let's just move it over. No, I actually want it in the front of page. Object order front of page. And there you go. Now, what really, and I've, for the last several months I've been doing this, is put a, a black box. It really makes it pop to kind of let it show what it looked like printed on a shirt. I don't know what this is. Well, I guess it's just a graphic artwork. But that's pretty cool. And you could make your oval you know, a little thicker, a little thinner, and get different. I got pretty close to the, you know, you can see the octagon type shape in the center. Let's take away the indexing lines. But that's how you can get 
multiple interactive fill tool easy by just changing the endpoint color. Anyway, thank hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.